One of the devices which has become extremely com common in recent years is a plug strip. And this is because when you hook up your computer at home, you need to have a plug for the computer, you need to have one for the monitor, you need to have one for your external drive, you need to have one for whatever else you've got going on. All of these are subject to the transients. So the big innovation is you take and you put something like this inside of here so that everything that you plug into the strip is now going to be protected against transients coming in from your local power supplier coming right down through this line. The purpose of the uh, varistors, metal oxide varistors, and the, the GE brand of these was the GMOV, is their ability to clamp voltages, to basically sit on a circuit and not do anything at all until the voltage tends to come rise above an acceptable level and then it clamps the voltage at that point so that you don't damage the other circuits, the other components that are on the circuit. So here we see something where we're starting to raise up the voltage and it's basically drawing no current at all. It looks pretty much inert. It's almost like it wasn't in the circuit at all. Then we get up here to a point somewhere's up around, around above 100 volts and we start to see small amounts of current. Then as we get up closer to 150 volts, the thing takes off and it goes really high. And you get, uh, <clears throat> in this case, currents that can go 300 milliamps, even higher. So it's clamping very effectively at that. And if you have a 120 volt device that's on the circuit, it's, it's protected it because the voltage it sees is never greater than 150. The uh, varistor is different from a Zener diode in that it works in both polarities. We showed the previous graph, which was starting here and going up here. If you have it on an AC circuit, on the reverse polarity, or reverse part of the cycle, it does exactly the same thing. So it'll clamp both positive and negative equally well. The transients in the circuits are generally very short time duration. Uh, a 60 hertz uh, cycle goes 16 milliseconds for each cycle. The transients you see will frequently be less than a millisecond, and sometimes they'll be down around the tens of microseconds range. Uh, it's still enough to puncture through insulation, and that will damage transients, damage components just as well as a steady state voltage. So here we see on a logarithmic voltage, log log scale, at very low voltages, 10 volts, 15 volts, you have something only on order of about 10 microamps of current flowing. It's a little bit of leakage current in there. It comes up and it reaches a point where now you have the clamping action starting to take place. And we go up one, two, three, four, five orders of magnitude in current. And the voltage has gone up a very small amount. It may be a factor of two, maybe a factor of three. Then you get to the point where the other series resistance in the leads going up to the device, the inherent resistance of the zinc oxide grains inside, and it starts to look a little bit more linear up here at the top. So those are the electrical characteristics that we see in a device such as this. This is one of the production uh, GMOV varistors and uh, recognized by the uh, characteristic uh, red epoxy coating on them. Uh, this one would typically be, judging by the thickness of it, probably around 220 to 250 volts and able to absorb 20 joules of energy, uh, repetitive uh, pulse uh, energy content on it.